Hey there, it's Krishna with an update on consumer sentiment. Um, this time we're gonna go at it from the seller side. Uh, it seems like not too long ago we were talking about this from the buyer side. And um, at that time, it was a great time to buy because interest rates were so low. Um, that did shift into uh, a negative sentiment on the buyer side as uh, the competition of the market really heated up and uh, people uh, began giving up on their hope to get into a home. But right now, uh, consumer sentiment for sellers is uh, moving towards an all-time high here. Um, so if you're a homeowner, thinking about selling your house, uh, you're probably looking for the best time to make your move. Um, that means you're likely balancing a number of factors like your changing needs, where you'll go when you sell, uh, today's mortgage rates in order to time that move. And, but according to the recent data we have, the sweet spot could already be here for that move. Um, the latest home price sentiment index by Fannie Mae finds that 76% of consumers believe now is a good time uh, to sell. This graph here below shows the percentage of survey respondents who say it's a good time to sell a house. The big dip in March and April of 2020 reflects how consumers sentiment dropped at the beginning of the pandemic as uncertainty about the health crisis grew. Since then, the percentage has grown consistently more. Uh, people feel confident it's a time to sell. In fact, the survey respondents think it's even better time to sell a house today than they did in 2019, uh, which is a strong year for the housing market. The latest survey results indicate one of the strongest peaks in seller sentiment in nearly three years. So, um, this really translates uh, for us here in uh, San Antonio or Bear County. Uh, if you're looking at this next graph here, I'm showing you, um, you know, people are getting the message uh, that it's a good time to sell their home. As you can see, the, the new home, new listing activity has increased. Uh, we are nearly at 2019 levels as far as, or 2020 levels as far as uh, new listing activity coming in. We're up about 5.5% this same time last year. Um, so people are getting the message. They are bringing their homes onto the market. Um, but as you can see in this next graph here, I'm gonna show you that um, the folks are still out there buying the home. So we're still, we still have a lot of strong buyer demand, uh, which kind of uh, brings us to the next point. You know, this is one reason that you still wanna consider selling um, because there is really good buyer demand still despite those rate increases, uh, which we're gonna continue to monitor that um, each month because we will uh, anticipate there's gonna be some sort of movement with interest rates um, and that is going to knock some people out, but we still have so much demand there uh, that uh, you know we'll just have to keep an eye on that and uh, see when that really starts turning. But um, this could be the, the moment that you're looking for if you're thinking about selling um, because you're now looking at more inventory on the market, um, potentially in your price range. Um, yes, you need to check with your mortgage professional, make sure that you're still qualified to purchase something. Um, it may not be in the same price range that it was before, but uh, potentially uh, there may be more options, more homes to choose from uh, than there were before when you were looking uh, previously. So um, bottom line, um, you know, give it another shot, check out the market. Um, if you have any questions, you can always reach me, 210-260-6617 is my direct number. Um, be happy to help you. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. But um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.